South Korea has been struggling with low birth rate. So far, the situation is not getting any better. With less than 28,000 babies born in April, another record level is reached. Could you help us look beyond the concerning digits? Despite the government's efforts, the number of births in Korea hit another record low. According to a Statistics Korea report released on Wednesday, the number of births fell 8.9 percent on year to 27,700 in April. That's the lowest since monthly records were first compiled in 1981. The number of newborn babies in the January to April period was also at its lowest level, less than 120,000. Many South Koreans feel there are two main reasons for this chronic problem. They believe it's too expensive to raise a child and it takes a long time for a person to get a job and think about marriage. Compared to other countries, private education is very expensive in South Korea. I think a lot of couples don't have enough money even for the two of them, and many can't afford to pay extra for their children's education. Many South Korean women are stressed when they are applying for universities or jobs. So after they graduate or get employed, many want to enjoy their own time instead of getting married or having a child. In addition to these problems, a social welfare expert says many pregnant women face discrimination in South Korea. When women get pregnant in South Korea, they're discriminated against both at home and in the workplace. At home, they have to raise their child on their own without anyone's help. At work, some are forced to leave their job. Women have to overcome this discrimination to raise a child, and many give up in the first place. The South Korean government has poured more than 71 billion U.S. dollars into solving the low birth rate over the past decade, including giving cash rewards to people with children. Korunhee, Arirang News.